Um, this is, you know, me talking to you, sharing my story. Oh shoot, I wasn't filming. Classic, well, I'm not gonna redo that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey guys, it's Catherine, and I am here today to do my packing video. So welcome. Welcome to my long awaited packing video. And I'm so excited actually to do this because it's been a long time coming. So ever since I purchased this bag in 2018, my friends, my family, a lot of times my coworkers, because I would show up like to and from <laughs> trips with the backpack, they're always wondering like, how do you fit everything in there? And my answer was pretty simple. Pack less than you think. Fill it until you can't and then you stop there. I realize that's probably not the most practical explanation i can tell you that this backpack is all you need this one here is a 18 liter 15 inch laptop backpack it has comfortable shoulder straps now i have a 13 inch but i just felt that the 13 inch uh backpack was too small for weekend stuff so i originally got it because it wasn't for necessarily weekend travel but in a way yes because when Ryan and I started dating, I would spend weekends at his place going to and from work on the weekends. I didn't want to like come with a suitcase and then people would be like, oh yeah, where are you going? And then just like, oh, I'm just going like across the city. But then once we started traveling, it became really useful. And we traveled a lot. So in 2018 and 2019, we went to over 30 different cities each year throughout the year. So that's like every other weekend, if not more. Um, that we were gone traveling somewhere for a weekend trip, a city trip, etc. So I can tell you from experience, backpack, suitcase or backpack? Which one are you? Obviously, I'm team backpack. There are four reasons why I would never go back to a suitcase again. First of all, humans overcomplicate things. You really don't need as much as you think. I think that was one of the biggest takeaways that we had from our trip to Nepal. You can check that out. And one of these you know, links up here. Two, it allows you to be spontaneous. You never know what to expect when you arrive to a new city, right? For example, checking out of a hotel, but you still have the whole day to explore. I mean, yes, you can leave your bags at the hotel and we do that sometimes, it's fine. But when it's not practical to go back to your hotel, maybe from where you need to like leave to go to the airport or the train station, you can just bring your backpack with you and it's not, cumbersome it's small enough where it's like a day pack right you also can like check it in museums in the bag check because it's not luggage so it technically can just be put like with your coat or something done it before totally acceptable you can go to restaurants and it's not like you know a big piece of luggage that you need to find a place for it just sits right at your feet also if you want to experience a city like a local if you want to take public transport and you want to take a taxi everywhere backpack Sometimes you can't take taxis to like the front door of where you want to go. And if you're at that front door, you have stairs inside of apartments and you not always, most of the times actually, you don't have um, elevators. You still sometimes need to go up to like the fourth floor and with a suitcase, I'm telling you, it's not always like the most comfortable. Number three is you never get questioned by the airlines about if your bag's gonna fit unless they're like, is this it? That's all you have? That's probably the only question that you get. They don't make you put it in that little bin in front of everybody. You don't have to make an argument like, oh no, it's gonna fit, I've done it before. There's no waiting at the luggage, right? So then they can't lose it, it's always with you. Sometimes you're late to the flight and then when you board late, you don't necessarily always get like head spaced in the storage above your seat to like put the bag. This way the bag goes under your feet. And it just, you know, four allows for freedom. So I'm gonna go with team backpack and I'm here to convince you that you as well can be team backpack and we can all just travel more spontaneously and more carefree. Now, before I show you like my magic trick of how I fit everything for a five day weekend into this backpack, let me give you a bit of context because this backpack is actually packed for a trip this weekend. Ryan for our fifth anniversary trip has planned a weekend, a long weekend in Spain, which sounds crazy that we've been traveling basically with this backpack for the last almost five years. We're going to Andalusia, so it's gonna be like Cordoba, Granada, Sevilla, and he planned it with elsewhere. So if you guys remember our trip to Florence last year in November for my birthday, you might remember elsewhere. I love Elsewhere. Yes, it's a travel company, but it is a different travel company. It's not just a travel company. Essentially, they connect you with the local experts who know exactly how to plan like the dream trip. 
Imagine it's like online dating. You go onto the website, you fill out a bit of like a cute, funny, kind of cheeky Q and A questionnaire on like, what is your perfect trip look like? And they connect you with the person and the guide to bring it to life. So there are a list of reasons that I love elsewhere and that I recommend it to my friends and family, but that's for another video. So this is really, truly what I am packing. Starting with the outside zipper pocket where I put my passports. And yes, I travel with both. I'm American, but also French as of recent. My wallet. And yes, this is all I carry. So, I mean, I prefer, again, less is more, is just a, a simple card holder. A um, few cards, really, you know, insurance, healthcare, ID, a um, couple credit cards, that's it. AirPods for the trip, house keys. Um, and then I'll often put my phone in here as well. So this is what I got. Uh, also put a lock, um, which is now I'm realizing it that I forgot to pack my lock. That way I can also just put a lock on my bag if for example, I do leave it in the hotel storage or something. So next up is the back. In the back is where I'll put my laptop case, my laptop and I'll put my like charging cord. So everything, let's say a laptop wise is in there. I like to travel with this Lark water bottle. So if you've seen these before, I was wondering, you know, if people like them, we love ours. And it's because then we, when we go to the airport, for example, one, we're not like buying a water bottle after security, plastic, don't need that. Um, you can fill it up the airport. We've used this in so many different countries and honestly, like whether it's the US, Europe, India even, for example, and we were always fine, you know, just make sure you sanitize it first, but it's good to go. Um, I also have my purse in here. So sometimes if I don't have room, I'll carry my purse with my backpack. But luckily uh, for this trip to Spain, I found myself with room probably because my outfits are like, they're not that like bulky. Um, I can put my purse in here and if I was being very smart about packing I could even put something in my purse, but I didn't it literally just has a Kleenex in there at the moment um, But I've got my purse We've got the toiletry bag Toiletries What's in? My toiletries to start off with travel size everything travel size toothbrush travel size hairbrush Travel size Missler water to wash your face with travel cotton pads. Travel size toothpaste. And now, well, this is the commercial size. You've probably also sometimes been seen tiny, cute little ones. These ones are fantastic to keep because they're great for like a short weekend. Travel size deodorant. I also like to have with me um, stuff for my skin, skincare. So I have my own little face wash, sensitive skin face wash, distilled though in a little Muji bottle. Talk about that later. And I also have a neosiamide um, little zinc serum. Dry shampoo, blister band-aids. You never know when those come in handy. Very basic. Foundation, brush, CC corrector cream, highlighter, blush, brush, eyeshadow, brush. Now this I could really forego if I didn't have room. Uh, stuff for my eyebrows, a little eyebrow gel. Chopstick, never go without my chopstick. Extra hair binder, always comes in handy. And mascara. As I mentioned, phone chargers. I know I could probably have a better system. Uh, I really don't, but I have room, so why not? Sunglasses, because of course, so gotta have those. And then packing cubes. So I have two packing cubes because it's all I need for my backpack. I have one that is for, you know, underwear, where I also put my jewelry in. Um, would I, you know, you put swimsuits, tights, everything in here, socks. Um, don't need to really go through that, I assume. And then another packing cube. This is a really basic one, literally Amazon basics. I understand there's a million packing cubes out there and I'm sure there's better options, but these ones work perfectly fine. Um, and so that's what we've been using. And then I have, you know, a couple outfits. So I'm gonna be wearing pair of jeans over, right? So a pair of jeans, a sweater, that's already one outfit. Friday on the plane, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So technically five days, but one day I'm already wearing and one day is a pair of jeans, which means that I probably need only a top 
or two to like mix and match if I want, right? I have a top, two tops actually, that can go with a skirt option, but then those same tops can go with the jeans. Um, and then I have also a cardigan that will go over uh, two different outfits. So one being a jumpsuit, one being a dress. Um, the cardigan actually can also go with the pair of jeans by itself. It can also go over one of the t-shirts with the skirt in case it gets colder. So I feel like always having kind of something to toss over, whether it's like a scarf, a shawl, a cardigan is kind of key, something layers. Um, but that's what I'm gonna wear. So that gives me all my outfits, all my different options. Um, dress it up, dress it down. Jewelry to make or break the, you know, the outfit. And that's what you'll see me wear. It sounds probably like not much. I'm, you're probably expecting more, but right, the point of this is minimal packing. So I don't have a really long list of stuff because if I did, I'd probably be packing not in the backpack. So that's it. That's what I got. But for everybody who's like, I like to have options to like know what I want to wear that day and be able to pick something out, et cetera, et cetera. I get it. I have such a hard time deciding like staring in front of my closet and just saying this and this and putting it into a backpack. That's not actually really how it works. Take out everything I wanna wear. I fold it up, shortlist it. Obviously when it doesn't all fit because I have too many options, I'll leave it and I'll come back after, you know, when I feel like I'm ready to make some decisions. On this day, we're gonna be doing X, Y, Z. There's these two options. If I had to go now to like, to go to this museum, which one would I wear? All right, that one and then I put the other one away. Don't even think twice about it. Just go with whatever preference you have, make a quick decision, put the other stuff away, and that's it. Don't pack like the night before because you can't like leave it and come back to it if you're just like packing in a rush. I found that works really well. Also, that's when you realize that you might've forgot something. So second tip, and this is for city trips, of course, but if you're hesitating between two options, go with what's more elegant, especially in Europe. You don't know a location until you get there, right? So it's always better to be dressed up, overdressed than underdressed because you'll feel less uncomfortable if you're overdressed. But also it leaves you that option. Like if you all of a sudden have a spontaneous and last minute opportunity to attend, you know, an opera or a play or a show, then you have options. So I would always say go more elevated than not. If ever you hesitate, like, do I need this? No, you don't. <laughs> so whenever you hesitate, just put it away, no regrets. Think about it realistically. There's very few places in this world where you can't buy something if you need it. Always try to find like how you can compact things. I have the little Muji bottles and I distill stuff. You don't need a whole bottle of shampoo. You never need your whole thing of toothpaste, right? You can buy travel size toothpaste. So travel size isn't just a gimmick. It really makes sense. And lastly, pack light. You're not gonna want to have, you know, heavy things, which is, I guess leads to another tip is just like wear all your bulky stuff on the way over. Because again, less stuff for your backpack. Even if you do have space for like a two day weekend, like it's fine to not fill up all the space, right? Here's everything that you think you need, but really you don't. So the biggest mistake I would say is one extra pair of shoes. Really, I try to just spend my weekend in one pair of shoes, a super comfortable pair of boots or a super comfortable pair of tennis shoes that goes with everything that can go like day to night and yes, it's a thing, you can wear sneakers with dresses. So if you really do need to have a second pair of shoes and you have room in your bag, or maybe in your travel companion's bag, I've slipped some heels into Ryan's before if we have a really nice date night, that's totally fine. But a third pair, I mean, come on. You're gonna have more fun if you have comfortable shoes. One pair of jeans, I said it. One pair of jeans, you mix and match with different tops. You know, you bring a couple dresses. If you really need two pairs of jeans, make sure to wear one when you're flying. So then you don't have to have it in your backpack. Common mistake is too much jewelry. Pack minimalist, kind of think of what do, you, what do I wear as like my go-to every day. And then from there, I have one or two items that I've already like pre-planned with my outfits that's gonna elevate it from day to night. Just pre-plan it and go with that. And again, if you're hesitating, no. Multiple jackets. 
never need multiple jackets. So we have the jacket that you're wearing on the plane over. So it's not even going in the backpack. If you have a night out, I encourage you to find something where you can wear that jacket. Lastly is what I see mostly from my friends is like hairstyling tools. So I know now everybody is different, but if you're able to manage your hair, you know, whether it's pulling it back or, you know, leaving it down, but with dry shampoo, or even with a simple blow dryer, which most hotels and Airbnbs or friends and family have at their house. Now's the time to do so and leave behind those items. Um, it's not only less time getting ready because you wanna like explore the city and have that time to like relax on a terrace, having a coffee on a corner in Paris or something. If you're traveling internationally, you don't have to deal with all the converters and the little plugs and stuff, which is super annoying, so win-win. So that's it. That is my travel tips, tricks, hacks, everything. Um, so you can see really how I'm packing for this weekend. You'll literally be able to see me wearing these outfits as we explore Spain. Because again, this is actually what I'm packing. I'm like ready to just go if I needed to. Let me know if you have any questions. And if I managed to convince you to leave behind a suitcase for a weekend, I'd love to hear about it. I truly do believe that the red backpack is the way to go, that this is a great size and it's all you need. If there's anything I missed, because obviously there's a lot to consider, let me know, um, share it with everybody. And um, I hope you enjoy your next trip if you switch to a backpack.